Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome back to The Ripple Effect. This week, we are talking about three ways to discern God's will for your life. Number one, discern is a verb, right? That means it requires action. A lot of times we think that God is just gonna magically show us what he wants us to do with our life. So we, we like pray and we just kind of wait and expect that God's gonna show us like some magic sign or a rainbow over this person we're supposed to marry or whatever. And that's not the way it works. God asks us to take action to discern things. And that can mean a lot of different things. It can mean maybe I need to go and visit this college that I think God might be calling me to. Maybe I need to go take a tour of a seminary because I just don't know if I'm called to the priesthood. Or maybe it means I think I'm just gonna ask this person on a date. No pressure, but I'm gonna just take them out on a date and see how it goes, right? Whatever it is, we have to trust that when we start to move forward, God is going to work with us. So that leads us to point two. Point two is talk to someone you trust who's more advanced in their spiritual life than you are. So it's great to talk to our friends, it's great to talk to our siblings, whatever, but we want to get advice from people who have experience discerning God's will and understand more about God than we do so that they can guide us and lead us. So that could be a priest, it could be a youth minister, a core member. Find someone in your life who you really respect, who you really look up to, who you think has a great relationship with God and is really good at figuring out where God is asking them to go and talk to them about your situation. Share with them, here's what I think, here's what it's like when I pray about this option, here's what I'm afraid of, here's what I'm excited about. Bring it to them, get their input. Another way that we can take action is by making a list of spiritual advantages and disadvantages. It's kind of like a pros and cons list, but it's not quite the same thing. Rather than just writing benefits and side effects, we do this from a spiritual sense. So what are the spiritual blessings of if I make this decision and where would the spiritual hindrances or where would the spiritual difficulties come about if I make this decision? And this isn't meant to be like, oh, they have great food at this college or I really like their sports teams or they have a great major for what I'm interested in. It's meant to be spiritual in nature. So how is this going to impact your relationship with God, your prayer life, your faith life? So for example, maybe you're discerning whether you should take this as a certain job. A spiritual disadvantage might be, I have to work on Sundays and that means it's gonna make it more difficult for me to get to mass or youth group. Thanks so much for watching The Ripple Effect. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for weekly videos, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Happy discerning.